Hey, Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute. Um, today, an MD Minute coming, just published in Nature Aging. It's a journal, a peer-reviewed journal, and it's coming out of researchers from the University of Cologne in Germany. Um, I'm going to give you a little background, and then uh, you'll see why I think this is quite, quite an interesting study. So, the natural processes of metabolism within cells causes trash to be made in the same way as we make food and we do things and we make trash. So the intracellular trash is proteins that start clumping together and kind of making big trash piles within cells. Um, and this is seen actually with Alzheimer's, you can see that. You can see that in Huntington's disease and you can see that in ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease. So this is something we see as these uh, clumping of proteins which are kind of like trash in cells. So the body obviously has some form of cleaning, self-cleaning process and that's a, um, um, a system that are called the proteasomes and what they do is they break up these clumps, they essentially break up all the trash um, and then it, uh, it gets washed away. So it's the cleaning, natural cleaning system for cells in the body and again um, uh, certain diseases are associated with lots of uh, these protein trash clumps um, everywhere. What they did in this research is that they took human cells and they put them in cold, in very cold and then in moderate cold. And what they found is that as you reduce the temperature, even to just moderate cold, the activity of these protosomes increased. In other words, they worked harder and therefore there were less clumps, there was less trash in your cells um, and uh, it seemed to obviously uh, help with healthier cell function. So the researchers postulated that it may be that if humans live in colder climates, that might be stimulating this intracellular system of the body to help break down the debris, the natural debris you find, and maybe that's going to prevent uh, Alzheimer's, ALS, or Huntington's career. So interesting preclinical study worth thinking about. Follow this story. Dr. Joe Forrest, time for the MD Minute. Thanks for tuning in.